Hey, the Every Joe here. Hey, today we're going to talk about fan and motor heat. Uh, I've had some users asking about that recently. Now, here on the screen, uh, we built this air handler, the airflow diagram, and the associated hydronic, hot water, and chilled water diagrams, as well as the humidification steam diagram, and then the gas pipe diagram, you know, with our wizard. Uh, now, you can import loads when you want to build a system from your loads program, such as Train, a Carrier, Elite, or now Autodesk Revit, um, the system analysis loads from Autodesk Revit. Or you can just input that data, but this is the data that we bring in from a loads program. Um, location, obviously outside air temperatures, all the system and zone structure, areas, number of people, temperatures, uh, CFM, uh, things of that nature, heat loss. Now, if you modeled in your loads the temperature gain from the motor, I'm um, go here on click on the fan and go to summer cooling. So each fan has fan heat, right? That's generated because of the fan, the size of the fan, the amount of air it's moving, plus the motor heat. When you've modeled your loads, if you've modeled that in your loads program, you want to make sure that's checked here. You'll notice that's 1.8 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and a half a degree there. If I zoom in on my outside air condition, you'll see I'm bringing in 95 degree air in Salt Lake City, Utah. After it goes through that fan, it's heated up to 97.4. That temperature difference is those, uh, what's that, 2.3 degrees F. So if you've modeled it in your load, you also want to model it here. Uh, and then that's why that coil sees 97 instead of the 95. Now for heating conditions, you'll see the outside air is 14 degrees, 14 seeing the heating coil. Typically we don't go in on uh, winter heating and add any motor heat or fan heat. If you did, you'll see that now I only have to heat from 15.8 to 86. So the heating coil is gonna be a little bit uh, less. So uh, typically engineers don't wanna, uh, they just want that extra safety factor. So they typically don't apply those in that uh, application. Anyway, so that's just, uh, I've had questions asking me about, hey, why is, why is there different temperatures, you know, as it goes through the fan there, and that's all from fan and motor heat. That's based on the size of fan that we do calculations on, as well as the size of the motor. We, we know that from CFM, the 8,000 CFM, and obviously that's the pressure drop of that fan, and the uh, that's the path that was highlighted in blue. Then there's everything internal to that fan. Here's everything external to that fan that makes up that 1.85 in heating and the 2. Point, we'll go to the cooling right here, the 2.35 in uh, cooling. We look at both air flows on on systems, you know, and uh, static pressure in both cases. So hope this has been helpful uh, in uh, looking at that fan and motor heat, and then also using the the air handler wizard to just answer questions and build. This was a humidification system with the Condair humidifier, uh, generation of steam to steam from a steam boiler, uh, created just in a couple minutes by answering questions uh, using your load data. Hey, thanks for watching.